Hi, Lucy Watson. Hi. We're going to make some feel-good fuel vegan food today using Vita Coco coconut milk. Can't wait. How do you feel about a coconut rice mango salad? That sounds right up my street. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, we're going to start by simply putting a cup of rice in a pan. So we'll just roughly measure that out. And then we're going to put our Vita Coca coconut milk in. Now, the brilliant thing about Vita Coca coconut milk is it's got more coconuts in than any other coconut milk out there. I've heard this. More coconuts, Lucy. Yes, this is great. The less water, okay. the better. I prefer it to cow's milk anyway. I'm imagining that coconut milk is a big part of your diet being yeah. vegan. Yes. Um, I put it in my smoothies every morning, so definitely. So now we're just going to add one cup of water. Whack that in there. Turn on the hob. And once it's boiled, we're going to put it down to simmer. And the important thing is to keep the lid on, because that's what's going to make the rice really fluffy. How do you find being vegan these days? Is it easier as time's gone on? There's more um, sort of restaurants and places to eat vegan. Do you cook a lot at home? Yeah, I do cook a lot more now that I'm vegan, I think, um, than I ever did before. When I first became vegan, it was a lot harder, and now it's it's just becoming a lot more mainstream. So yeah, I'm finding it a lot easier. And of course you've had, you've written cookbooks as well. Yeah. Vegan cookbooks. Yeah, um, I had a cookbook come out last year called Feed Me Vegan. And I just finished shooting another one, which is uh, Feed Me Vegan for All Occasions. And it's, I mean, I was so surprised at how well it did. I didn't think that it would do as well as it did, but obviously it shows that veganism is growing and mm. a lot more people are into it. And and also yeah. that it's not, I think some people still think that eating vegan means you're like not eating much or it's not substantial, yes. but I'm, I, I watch you on Instagram and you're always eating a burger. You've always got a burger in your hand. Constantly a vegan burger, <laughs> vegan fries. And also you're opening a restaurant. Yes, pretty much everything's been done now. What will be your sort of award-winning dish on the menu, do you think? What's going to be most popular? Um, We've got these chicken nuggets that are made out of jackfruit. Wow! And jackfruit's like a new one that people have become really into, and mm. I'm, I'm I'm loving it. Like personally, I think it's I think it's delicious. We've got um, we've got a few burgers on there, obviously. Uh, mac and cheese. We've got brunch. We've got like pancakes. Oh, nice! You've got to come. Come down. I'm there. Literally, <laughs> get me a table ready. I am so there. Beautiful mango chopping. I've also got here some coriander mixed with parsley because you and I are not particularly no. huge lovers of coriander. So you can yep. create your own balance with that one, yes. however you like. But lots of parsley, a bit of coriander. Some chilli to add to the rice salad as well as the mango. We've got some monge too there, if you don't mind slicing yeah, those slice up. That, I'll slice and we'll get up. some spring onions in there too. So you've got so many delicious flavours yes. as is, well. I mean, I love mango and salads. I think that it's just like the nicest oh, ingredient. I've recently started using it all the time. So delicious. Yeah. Now I've got some rice that's already cooked and fluffed and cooled because once you've cooked it for 10 minutes, you want to leave it to cool for 10 minutes. That looks gorgeous and it, oh, that smells so good. So I'm going to pop that into our dish. And then we can start adding all of those lovely flavors to that coconut rice. Yeah. Oh, herbs in. What do you do to relax? Because obviously you're so busy at the moment with starting up your restaurant and your jewellery business. Yeah. What do you do if you're just sort of chilling out, slobbing at um, home? I do love yoga. Oh, I love I'm yoga. a yoga fan. I love meditation, Pilates, walking my dog, all those kind of things. Right, a bit of zest and juice. So get a bit of lime in there. And then we'll also do the juice too. Delicious. That's looking ever so pretty as well, isn't it? Yes, I'm very healthy. Pretty happy with that. A lovely vegan treat. And then we're going to also finish it off with some nuts. Oh. So we'll just sprinkle some of those on top. And then also my favourite. Coconut flakes. Coconut flakes. Look how pretty that is. That looks delightful. Happy? Yes. Chuffed? Yes. Should we try it? Yeah. One spoonful each. Okay. I'm going straight in for that mango as well. That's quite a large piece. Mmm. The coconut and the mango together. Mmm. That is delightful. And vegan! 
That's great, I can have more. Put that on your restaurant menu. Oh, yeah, well. Oh. Dreamy. To find this recipe and more, head to vitacoco.co.uk.